click subscribe hit the bell icon and never miss the update from sg chess world hello everyone namaste in this video we will going to see what is a gambit and to explain it further we will quickly go through tennyson gambit and danish gambit so without wasting time let's go for it first of all what is the meaning of the word gambit gambit is a calculated move to get advantage on certain situation and in the chess gambit is really a sacrificing your minor pieces to get a major piece or to get a advantageous position let's see on the board here white would like to go for e4 and put his pawn on d4 but here black is definitely going to go for e5 and black is resisting this d4 square and to put this pawn on d4 white sacrificing his pawn by playing on f4 which is called as the king's gambit where black is going to capture the pawn and here white can go for d4 controlling all the squares in the center also this bishop is going to capture this pawn over here but the problem about this gambit is here is a discovery from the queen and before moving this d4 we just have to think about that before moving this pawn we can go with the knight or there are several moves so in this video to understand gambit more we will going to see a two gambits that is a tennyson gambit and a danish gambit so let's move on to tennyson gambit so tennyson gambit is played by white uh, so white goes for e4 and it is only possible if black plays d5 here instead of capturing this pawn white played a really tricky move that is knight to f3 and of course black is going to capture the pawn he get the pawn also he is now attacking on the knight over here so white goes to knight to g5 attacking on that pawn again and black would like to defend that pawn he can defend with this pawn on f5 but problem is queen is attacking on the king so of course this is a bad move instead he can go with the bishop but problem is this bishop loses his entire diagonal and also there is a less space for development so best move will be this knight to f6 now this knight is protecting this pawn over here so white plays d3 and allowing to capture a second pawn so black is going to capture and here bishop captures this pawn and whatever black plays here it is going to be a very easy for white of course he would like to go for h6 and attacking on this knight and this knight going to capture the pawn on f7 and now this knight is forking the queen and the rook so of course best move will be king captures this knight but the problem is now bishop to g6 and this bishop is giving a check also we will going to grab this queen over here and black king cannot retreat here because this bishop is covering this diagonal so best move will be king captures bishop over here and we captures a queen so white get a queen by losing his knight bishop and pawn and get advantageous position where black king is really not safe where white can go for castling and develop his pieces immediately to further proceed for a checkmate so this is mainly known as a tennyson gambit and this is only possible if black goes for this d5 move so let's move on to second gambit that is a danish gambit so Danish Gambit is also played by white and it is possible when black goes for e5. So white start with e4, black replied with e5 and white goes for d4 offering a first pawn. Black captures on d4. Then white again offer a pawn on c3 and black accept that pawn on c3. Now black has a two pawn advantage. But instead of capturing this pawn by the knight white again plays really interesting move that is bishop to c4 and allowing black to capture this pawn on b2 so black goes for it black captures that pawn and black is now three pawns ahead to defend the rook bishop captures on b2 and now you can see these two bishops are attacking on the king side and also this queen is active now which is covering this total file also these diagonals also this pawn on e4 is now controlling this two central square so white is really active here and you can see no piece of black is developed right now 
So what black is going to do? He developed it first piece with a check. Bishop to b4 with check and white developed with knight to c3 and here to release this bishop black goes for d6 and white goes for queen to b3 and now this bishop is attacking on this weakest pawn for black that is f7 also attacking on this bishop so instead of retreating this bishop black will definitely going to capture this knight and bishop captures on c3 and now you can see this bishop is attacking on this unprotected g7 pawn after that it can go for this rook and also this bishop is attacking on this f7 pawn weakest pawn for black and also by attacking on this pawn black is going to lose a castling right black can go for knight to d3 but simply this bishop capture this pawn over here giving a check so black lose a castling right by moving the king on king to f8 so this is how a danish gambit is here white loses a uh, three pawns to get a certain advantage on the board and this is how gambit is sacrifice your minor pieces that is mostly a pawns to get advantages position or to get a major piece as we seen in the tennis and gambit we also seen a budapest gambit in previous videos i will put it in the description and also put it in this i button right now so do you find this video helpful if yes then go ahead hit the like button and share this video with your friends also you can join me on facebook google plus twitter search for sd chessword you can watch my previous videos here and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one